From the end of the Civil War to the dawn of the 20th century, the cowboy was king and the ranch was his home. There was a lot about cowboys that helped them become legendary icons. By the end of this program, you'll learn something new about some of the working ranches in Oklahoma. I'm Ivan Pace. I put on programs across the state and portray several characters that lived in the territory. When you think about the pioneers and frontiersmen that caused the Indian Territory to become a state, the cowboy was right in the middle of all of it. These rugged, heroic figures are often thought of as glamorous Hollywood celebrities, although history goes to show there was very little glamour in the life on the range. In reality, being a cowboy was rough. There were long days with little pay. Some cowboys became outlaws to make an extra buck, and others became heroes of the Old West. There was often a fine line on which one was which. It was a difficult time to live back then, but what does it look like today? In a moment, I'm going to introduce you to some modern day cowboys that made their living working on ranches throughout Oklahoma, where the West is still alive. This is where the world's most loved cowboy, Will Rogers, was born in this house on November 4th, 1879. The house was four years old then. It was built and it was furnished by Will's father, Clement Van Rogers. This ranch was a working ranch back in 1857 and it still is to this day. This location isn't actually the original spot of the ranch, it was moved here in about 1960 when the lake was flooded. Before it was moved, it was about a 60,000 acre ranch, but today it only occupies about 300 acres. Growing up in the late 1800s, Will Rogers would have been a pioneer as well as a modern day cowboy had he not died at the age of 56 in 1935. Let's jump over to a ranch that is still working today and Talk to Lord Authors in Prior, Oklahoma. I've got some, some cows and I've got some goats and I've got hogs and chickens. And it's a fine way of life, but it's something that you must enjoy doing because it is a, uh, there's a lot of hard work to it. You're up against a lot of elements, you know, the weather, the, the droughts and the heavy rains and the blizzards and whatnot. And to sustain those elements, you've got to have it in your heart to drive to do that sort of thing, live like that. The way I was raised was well behind the current times, ventured off into a little bit of the, the later day stuff and uh, just keeps drawing me back to the old time way of living. I was raised in Rogers County, south of Sequoia and uh, first ranch that I was sure enough draw to pay on was three dollars a day and board, son to son. He asked me to go with him one morning. He was going to see if I was going to make it or not. And he took me in. Uh, we rode from the ranch house up north to uh, Blue Creek along the Burgess River. The creek was up, washed out the fence, and the water gap was broken. He said, we need that water on the other side of the creek come across here because this, this creek goes down where these cattle going to get out. There's a lot of brush and water in the creek. And he said, well, I think we need to cross there somehow to get that water on the other side. And I said, well, I kind of hate to ride my horse through that. It'll get tangled up. And he said, well, I ain't going to put my horse through it. We'll get tangled up. He said, what do you think we ought to do? And I pulled my boots off, skinny down, and swam across there and got the wire and brought it back across, hooked up the wire and fixed the water gap. And he says, you're hired. I hope you enjoyed this short video. We have longer episodes in the works. We want you to remember our Oklahoma pioneers while you also get to know some of the modern day cowboys. <laughs>